trip made last week to Iran by eight times Mr. Olympia bodybuilding champion Ronnie Coleman threatens to become an international diplomatic incident. Coleman, an American, was visiting the Islamic Republic to promote his line of fitness training products. But he was taken by his Iranian minders, possibly without understanding where he was going, to pay homage to the grave of Mustafa Mazeh. Now, Mazeh is the Lebanese suicide bomber who is accused of trying to kill the novelist Salman Rushdie in London. Well, Coleman's trip has been mired in controversy from the start. And that controversy was covered by our Iranian blogger, Potkin Azamir, who joined me earlier in the studio. These trips to promote his training methods, his products. But as soon as I learned that he was going to Iran, I knew there was going to, this is going to be controversial. Uh, and I started tweeting about it uh, and writing about it. Uh, my first concern was that one part of his schedule was uh, to a mixed audience of men and women. Now, bodybuilding is something that is just about tolerated in Iran. It's not something that they're very keen on. But the thought of having some American, as the Iranian papers themselves, I'm quoting it, as some sort of mus uh, American muscle machine posing in Britain to Iranian women. I mean, that was that's just, first big mistake. That was the first big mistake. That's, that's something that I knew was going to be problematic, and indeed it was, and it was cancelled. And then it got worse. Yes. <laughs> tell, us how, tell us how much worse yes, it this got. This other picture surfaced that showed uh, Ronnie Coleman with a picture of the uh, Syrian opposition flag around him. Um, and I think, I mean, that's just any opposition flag claims claims that flag. It's not necessarily one specific group. But the um, the reaction of the Iranian authorities was that this is a flag for Jephet al-Nusra, uh, and that uh, they start accusing Ronnie Coleman of uh, that is a is a Jephet al-Nusra uh, 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 supporter. Um, his trip advisers, however, tried to um, to refuse that, saying that, that this is a typical American. He doesn't even know where Iran is or Middle East is. You know, someone's just given him a flag and he's just on there. But uh, uh, that led to other things then. So now we've got him here by a graveside. Now this is the most controversial yes, thing yeah. that he did. Yeah. Talk us through that. Well, this is in the Behesh Zahra Tehran's main cemetery. And um, I'm under the impression that Ronnie Coleman thought this is just paying homage to Iranian martyrs of the war. But this was no Iranian martyr. This, this was a, a symbolic grave of a suicide bomber, a Lebanese suicide bomber, a 21-year-old uh, by the name of Mustafa Mazer, who in 1988 tried to blow up Salman Rushdie in a, a hotel in Paddington. But unfortunately, he uh, blew himself up. Now, he's a bodybuilder. He's out there just for a reason. He wants to sell his products. But what were his minders thinking? Well, I think, again, it was just the, uh, uh, a, a way of sort of like uh, getting back at him for, for uh, uh, taking that picture with the Syrian flag. They wanted to inflict maximum damage and embarrassment on, th on him, and I think they managed that. But I'm, I'm talking about his, his minders from his side. I mean, what about what was the State Department doing? Why weren't they there, no. you know, Farsi speakers who knew actually what was going on? Why wasn't he protected? I've, I've, look, I've, I met uh, some State Department officials, you know, done for a minute, think that they're the brightest people in the world. I mean, <laughs> um, obviously, they should have told them. And indeed, next to that symbolic grave, there's other graves. There's uh, symbolic graves. One uh, is for the people who assassinated Amr al-Sadat, and another one for people who um, uh, killed the, uh, the American Marines in, in, in Lebanon. So uh, imagine if uh, they took him to those graves as well. It would have been even worse.